Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be talking about blueprints and user parameters for Niagara and Unreal 4. So to get things started, I'm just reusing a Niagara system that I've made before. It's a simple flipbook smoke. And now the first thing we want to do is we want to go to the content browser, right click, and we're going to create a blueprint class. And an actor is just fine for now, and we'll name it BP FBook 2 and we'll open that up. Now, there's two different ways that you can utilize Niagara systems with blueprints. So the first way would be to spawn it. So in our event graph, we can right click and we can type in Niagara. And you'll see that there's spawn system at location and spawn system attached. Spawn system at location, as soon as you click that, you'll see system template. And there's a drop down, and then you can just look for your system. And that'll work fine. And then you can just queue this off of different events, whatever you want. Now, the second way is by coming to add component, and we want to type in Niagara particle system, and you can also name this whatever you want. And if you come over to the right, you'll see in the details window, it says Niagara, and there's Niagara system asset, and this is where you would put your system. And as soon as we add that, if we come back over to the viewport, you'll see your system spawning right away. Now if we go back to that event graph and we right click, type in Niagara, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of different nodes that we can choose from. But some of the notable ones are the different gets and the different sets. So if you keep on scrolling down, you'll see that there's set Niagara variable. And there's an actor, a bull, a float, etc. For now, let's just click on float. And you can see right away after we select that, we get a direct reference to our system. And then we also have an in value. So what do you want to set the value to? And then we have an in variable name. So we're going to pause right here for a second and we're going to go back to our Niagara system. So we'll open that up. And in your system, you'll see this little blue window and say system settings, system spawn, system update. But right on system settings, if you click this plus icon, you can add a new user parameter, kind of just like parameters. And if you have your parameters window open, you can also go to user expose and click on that plus icon. So I'm gonna look for float and I'll add a new float. We'll just call this Bob. Right after I add it there, if we come back to the user parameters, you'll see that it's in here and we can set a default value. So I think I'm gonna to go to spawn rate and instead of this value in here, I'm gonna take Bob and I'll put him in the spawn rate. And then I'll come back to the user parameters and I'll set the default to 10 and I'll click on save. And now the nice thing about these user parameters is that you can use them in blueprints. So we'll go back to our blueprint and in that node that we created in the in variable name, we're gonna type user.bob. And now you can queue this off of any event that you want. So I prefer the debug with keyboard inputs. So I'm gonna right click and we're gonna go down to input. We're gonna go to keyboard and I'm just gonna choose zero for now. And we'll plug this in. But before this can work, we actually have to enable inputs on this blueprint. So we'll do enable input, and then we need to get a reference to the player controller. Let's just set that there. So when we press zero on the keyboard, it's gonna set this variable, user.bob, to zero. And that variable is set up in the user parameters, and that's connected to the spawn rate. So we'll compile and we'll save. Minimize this. We're gonna drag our blueprint into the world. I'm gonna see it's working. And then we'll hit play. And we'll find out where our particle is. Let it go for a little bit. Now I'm gonna hit zero on the keyboard. And you'll see that it stops spawning. It sets the spawn rate to zero. Now say that we wanted to do something on released. You know, so we could copy this and paste it down here. Make sure that we're still getting that reference. We'll plug released into here, and then we'll change the value to 10, right here. So we'll compile that again, save, and we'll go play again. We'll back up. And now if we press zero, it should stop. And then if we let go of it, it should come back. Pretty cool. So this should give you a pretty good introduction to blueprints and user parameters. There's a wide variety of things you can do with this. 
All right, guys, if you thought this video was useful and it helped, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.